Welcome back to Wasteland 2. In the last episode, I attempted to visit the Rail Nomads camp, which turned out to be a very bad idea, because my shoddy radiation suits, literally, that's what they're called, were not up to the task of defending me against level 3 radiation. And I also encountered some raiders over there that completely kicked my ass as well. So let's not go there yet. Now, my main mission at the moment, as far as what I can do, aside from the Rail Nomads camp, is to attempt to install the repeater units on the towers at the Axe Center and High Pool. So, I'm going to attempt to go to High Pool. Now, something's probably going to happen along the way. Unless they've majorly changed it from the beta to the final release. But, uh, we'll deal with that when we come to it. Let's head on over towards High Pool. I believe there's a little bit of a... Yeah, there's a little pass right here. Which, if I remember right, has radiation in it. Yes. SOS! SOS! Yep, here we go. Is anybody out there? This is High Pool. We are under attack. I repeat, we are under attack. Raiders with mortars and explosives are blasting our walls. If anybody can hear this, come at once. Don't know how long we can hold on. Okay, SOS from High Pool. Yep, there is radiation here, but I should be able to handle it with my suit. The strange thing is, though, I haven't heard another SOS call. I don't know if it just happens in a different way than I remember it being, uh, remember it happening, or... Perhaps they've just changed it, because I remember you had to decide between going to the Ag Center or High Pool, because they both were... They both had an emergency, and you could only respond to one at one time. Obviously, since you can only be in one place at one time. Anyway. Ranger Citadel! Oh, no, this here we go. Ag Center, come in! We're under attack! The plants! They're, they're mutating out of control! They're tearing my people apart! Ag Center, this is Citadel Base. Can you repeat? Did you say the plants were attacking? Yes, goddammit, the plants! Something's gone wrong with the... Oh, the door! They're breaking down the door! Fall back! Fall back! Did you copy those distress calls from High Pool and Ag Center? Over. Affirmative. Roger that. Uh, listen, Echo One, I have no one else in the area and no further intel at this time. I'm afraid it's going to have to be your decision which call to respond to first. Whichever one you choose, get there ASAP. Both situations are emergencies and both sounded like they were deteriorating rapidly. Copy? Copy, but um, both places you sent us to are suddenly having emergencies. Isn't that a bit odd? Uh-huh. Suspicious, isn't it, Echo One? Like someone's monitoring our transmissions and trying to stop our little radio experiment before it starts. Keep an eye out for suspect characters. Copy? Copy. 10-4, Echo One. Godspeed. Ranger Command out. Alright, now, I originally, when I played the beta, I went to the Ag Center first. Because, well... Let's face it, the thought of fighting plants that have come alive and started eating people is really, really cool. And the thought of facing a bunch of raiders is not quite as cool. Yeah, fighting plants is just pretty damn awesome. However, I am actually going to go to High Pool first, and the reason for that is... Well, there's two reasons. One is simply because I went to the Ag Center before, so I want to do something different this time to keep it more fresh for myself. And the other reason is that when I went to the Ag Center, I got really, really confused there. Like, it was a complete clusterfuck. I had no idea what the hell was happening. I kept trying to read the map. It didn't make any damn sense. I, I, I was getting really annoyed. I think I somehow kept figuring out kind of where to go, but I just stumbled upon it. So it wasn't exactly very satisfying or very pleasant. I don't know. I just kept getting very confused about the layout of the level and stuff. It was quite strange. Uh, they might have changed it since the beta to make it more clear, but 
Yeah, I'm gonna go to High Pool this time. And I did hear that you can actually go to both if you're fast enough. And the fact that I have this radiation suit which allows me to go through here might mean that I'm actually going to be fast enough to hit both. Because otherwise, if I didn't have this, I'd have to go all the way down and then to the right through this pass, which I believe does not have radiation. And then all the way back left. But this way, I can kind of just hit high pull as I'm coming down and then go to the left. I think it's a little bit quicker, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, seems there's a cache here. Another SMG. Didn't I find an SMG in the last cache? Yay, junk pants. Leather apron. You know, I'm not quite sure what an apron... Like... I don't want to claim I'm an expert on what aprons look like, but I'm pretty sure aprons don't look like pants. Maybe they do. But that's not what I think of when I think of an apron. Anyway, pistol ammo. SMG goes to nobody. Shotgun goes to my shotgunner. And whoever the hell wants this stuff can take it. Enjoy your junk pants. And your apron. Combat. Okay. Let's duel. Let's just hope these aren't the 100 hit point raiders. Because if it is, I'm dead. <laughs> no, they're fine. They're extremely weak. 11 hit points. That is just depressing. Oh, right. I can't save here. Let's see if I can remember how to fight. Space to undo that. Okay. Yeah, it's very helpful, by the way, to... Uh, press the space key, or just click this if you want to click it, to make it so your party is not grouped. That allows you to put your characters into place before combat. Otherwise, if you have them grouped and you try to move, they just, you know, move as a unit. Got a nice firing line going on here. These are so easy that I should be able to conserve some ammo, hopefully. Maybe use pistols more than anything. In fact, maybe I should just not even use my sniper, because I am kind of running low on sniper ammo. Yeah, maybe I should. I shouldn't have gotten them that close. Well, oh, never mind. Too late. Fuck. Hey! Holy shit! That's a lot of damage! Fuck you! Alright, calm down. Let's not waste bullets in anger. Do you have a secondary? Yes, you do. Hmm. This does 11 to 19 damage, and... He only has 11 hit points. I might as well just bash him in the face. Yeah, fuck it. What do you have? Melee, you got a blade. Looks like a machete. That sound is so stupid. <laughs> machete, what the fuck is that? Alright, bash him in the face. Boom! Nice. Wait, headshot? You can attempt to do a headshot with a melee weapon? That'd be pretty badass. Hitting somebody right in the head with a wrench. Yeah, let's not use a sniper. It's not worth the ammo. Not at all. Three to ambush. I'll leave you there. I don't want you to waste that ammo. It's not worth it. Put you on your barbed wire bat. Ambush. Oh, what the? Did we kill him? We did. Okay. Guess I'll just crouch and end my turn. Plus one AP, because we didn't use all our AP last round. Let's go bash him in the face. And I think we are done. Whoops. Gotta be careful of trying to switch to your secondary weapon when you have the entire group selected. I didn't have my entire group selected, yet everybody swapped their weapons. What the hell? That was weird. 
Eh, whatever. There's no point in swapping them back. It doesn't cost any AP to swap, so... Like, if they happen to go into combat again and they have their secondary weapon out, it does not matter. Another pistol. I don't think anybody can use a pistol other than... Other than Helen, right? Yeah, give it to whoever. Come on, April 4th. Like this place is located in the shadow of a very large mountain range. Right, so this is the place that deals with water, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, here we go. I've never been here before. That should be exciting. Roger, Echo One. Now listen, I want you to deal with the emergency situation first, before proceeding to the antenna. Repeat, help Mayor Vickstrom with his emergency, then hook up the repeater to the antenna on their crane. Protecting civilians is always a ranger's number one priority. Do you copy? Copy. Roger, Echo One. Advise when complete. Ranger Command out. Sure everybody's reloaded here. I forgot about that. This place is very green. Okay, it must have a lot of water here. Clean up! Reservoir! Sound off! Give me the bad news! Dam top reporting. Got some jackass shooting mortars at us. Can't hit Can't hit shit, but he's setting a lot of fires. Green up reporting. Some jokers are planning charges at the base of the wall. It, it looks like they're trying to take down the Craig. Uh, their leader, a uh, shit, she's got a, a jackhammer for an arm. A what? A jackhammer? Damn, freaks get crazier every year. <laughs> what? Reservoir checking in. A lot of damage back here. Damn tank is leaking like a sieve. I don't know how long it'll hold. This is Kate down in the tunnels. The irrigation system is about to go. Too much pressure in the pipes. I'm trying to ease it off, but I need more hands. No can do, Kate. Can't spare the men. These junkyard motherfuckers are about to come over the wall. Let's do what rangers do best. Shooting raiders. What is this? Water, it looks clean. Oh yeah, let's top off here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, by the way, I actually turned off motion blur, which it turns out was actually on in the options. I noticed it seemed a bit blurry when I moved the view, so hopefully it looks a little bit better when I move. Alright, is that a raider? Yep, wrecker sniper. Well, I'm assuming a wrecker is a raider, right? 15 hit points, no problem. Oh shit, there's one right there. I didn't even see you. Hello. Melee Blunt. 20 hit points. That's a little bit tougher. Get people into place. Nice little firing line. Can we sneak up on him and just bash him in the back of the head with a melee weapon? Hmm. Well, let's just open up with this. Shit, I should have crouched everybody. Whoops. They sound like zombies. I'm gonna eat your brains. Oh no, she lost control. Shit. Just, hey, 
taking cover and uh, killing one person, shooting twice and killing one of my enemies is uh, not a bad thing to do while losing control. That's pretty much what I would have done. Almost there, five more hit points, come on. Oh. It's alright. Yulia's got this. Should I move a little bit closer? Am I at the maximum range? No, it looks like it's fine. Oh, point blank, up to 7 meters is plus 10% chance to hit. How exactly do you tell 7 meters? I know you can turn on the grid like this. Uh, is each grid piece a meter? What, how does diagonal distance work? It's gotta, there's got to be an easy way somewhere around here that tells you the exact distance. Uh, well, there's no way that's point blank, given how far that is on that thing. Also, this seems to be an explosive, so you're probably going to blow up when I do this, so what the hell. Let's just do this. Yep. Whoa. Okay, I didn't expect it to go crazy like that. That could have been very dangerous. What do you have? It's a weapon. They both have rifles, I think. Yeah. Oh, shit, they're snipers. Well, that one has a rifle. That one has a sniper. Well, a sniper rifle is a type of rifle, isn't it? Anyway. Alright, 6% chance to hit. That is shit. We need to be in cover. Or I need to flank him, which I can't flank and shoot. But I could flank and not shoot. Which, I suppose, is exactly what I'm going to do. April 4th. I think you should have stayed back. Oh my god, even with this person behind cover. Angela is so good, she actually has a 36% chance to hit. I mean, I could put her right here, but then, yeah, she's not going to kill him in one hit. I don't think. Actually takes more AP to hit him with Ace's wrench than it does to hit him with a weapon. It's weird. Forty-eight percent chance. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. Nice. Almost got him. 20% chance. 20% chance. That's not good. Hmm. Let's move her a little bit closer and in cover. That's not good enough to be worth it. I'll just do ambush. Same with you. Let's move you there. Ambush. Oh. Oh, right. You're shit. Maybe I shouldn't have put her down, because now it's going to take a lot of AP to get her up, which is why she can't move too much. That was unwise. Just get her a bunch closer. Damn it. Damn it, Herper. Wow, they really suck. They barely did anything. So, I'm assuming because I'm at such an extreme angle that the 74% chance is not actually... My chance to hit is not being hurt by his cover? I don't think so. Come on. There you go. Oh my god. Damn, Theodore. Ninety-eight percent chance to hit. Maybe I should just bash him in the face. Yeah, save a little bit of ammo. Why not? Hi.
Ooh, did we get a level up? No, those are just their leftover points, isn't it? Because I remember I left them with a bunch of points. Just make sure. Copy, Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Copy, Echo One. Yep. Yeah, the plus symbol just means there's unspent points, I think. There's another symbol that means you leveled up. Okay, what do we have? Junk. Some rifle ammo. <laughs> Some work boots. Wonderful. Oh, that's a, that's a civilian. Looks like this woman was killed with power tools. Power tools? Would that be the person, the the woman they talked about on the radio with uh, the jackhammer for an arm or whatever the hell he said? I'm guessing she's going to be the boss I have to fight or something. Jesus, here's another one. Holy cats, there's a full-on siege going on here. Looks like he was trying to defend Hypool with a slingshot. Never bring a slingshot to a power tool fight. Oh, wow, he actually was trying to defend with a slingshot. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Cool. That's not very wise, but I uh, appreciate your bravery. My fallen comrade. This guy got hammered. <laughs> calling Scorpion Base. Where the fuck are you guys? We're getting steamrolled here. Hapul, get off the damn horn. I told you, you already got RSM troops on site. Call them. I've been calling. They're not responding. God damn it. All right, I'll send McNamara. Now stop calling. I got other shit going on. This was a water truck once, now it's a rusting hulk. And you don't build a fence unless you're trying to keep something out. Hmm. Can I... Oh, oh. Okay. Well. Ow. Hit Helen. Also hit Angela, that's no problem. Hitting Angela is no problem because she has 140 hit points. But Helen's a little bit more of a problem. Looks like a landmine was buried here. I know! I, I just discovered that. Thank you. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I think we found another one. You know what, Angela, you're gonna go first. Unless we can't even open this? Is it locked or something? I mean, it's short enough we could just, you know, step over it. Is it locked? No. Okay, that's weird. But when I tell them to go inside, they keep moving somewhere. Where are they going? Oh, oh Jesus! There's so many fucking traps! Hold on. Is my perception not high enough, or do I need to actually actively use it? I don't see anything. Use it. Keep using it. Never stop. Oh, they can climb ladders. I didn't know this game actually had ladders. I've never climbed one before in it. Oh shit. Maybe we should shoot them from up here. Oh yeah, poor Aberforth can't climb ladders. I'm sorry. Oh man, it'd be so satisfying to just snipe them all from here. Get the hide advantage. Alright, I think I need to give her some healing. I could just use pain relievers on her. 
Nah, let's use medic. Got 13 of these things. I will use the pain relievers on Harper, though. He does, he's not that hurt. Alright, let's just snipe him from here. This should be fun. 95% chance to hit. Oh, yeah. Suppose we should probably crouch everybody. Aim, ready, and fire. They make the weirdest noises. This guy's got one hit point left, you bastard. You freaking bastard. Alright, so if I headshot, what's my chance to hit? Oh, not enough AP. Whoops. I choose you. Damn it, you also have one hit point left. I keep doing the minimum damage. This thing is 12 to 18, I keep doing 12. Mmm, I think I need to move him. Her, I mean, Angela, if I want to not hit my teammates. Actually, no, I could just move her here. Mmm. I'm kind of shooting over her shoulder. It might be fine. I'm going to try it. Please don't hit Helen. Good. Now shooting you would be a very bad idea. So I'm going to move you now. Right here. Eh, they're still too packed in. Whatever. Hmm. If I can move right in front of them, I might be able to hit both with a shotgun blast. Probably not, but maybe. Eh, I'll settle for you. I choose you! Yeah. Out of range. Just ambush. Come towards me, my one hit point friend! Another pistol. You can just give it to whoever. Alright, now I'm paranoid about these damn traps. That's just what you're gonna hear for the entire playthrough. Oh, hello. Wormy Jim. Rangers! Boy, am I glad to see you. Get over here before anyone spots us. Judging by the icon over your head, I would say you are a store. But hold on. Loot. Ammunition. Mm-hmm. Well, doesn't say anything about traps. But, just in case, we're gonna use Angela, the high, the high hit point person. You open it, Angela. It'll be fine, trust me. Yay, sniper ammo. Pistol ammo? Eh, whatever. I don't think anybody's low on pistol ammo. Ooh, flashlight. Transmorpher. Okay, I was about to say, is there actually a truck inside of this crate? I mean, that'd be pretty cool, but it seemed implausible. Apparently it's not but a toy. Teddy Ruxpin. You know, I never actually checked to see whether there are descriptions for these bits of junk. I should, probably should. Could be some funny stuff in there. Alright, I should mod somebody's weapon. Who's Definitely not hers. I mean, she already has such a high chance to hit. Flashlight. Can I put on a shotgun? No. Pretty much anything but a shotgun. Yeah, let's put on yours. There we go. Plus 4% chance to hit. 
There you go, Theodore. Enjoy. Now, about the junk. Yeah, there are descriptions for the junk. I never even thought to look at that. This thing stopped working years ago, but it looks like it used to talk. Are there, is there even a description for the tactical jacket? There is, wow. That's a lot of detail in this game. What about the wrist rocket? Oops, voice crack. <laughs> a small device that looks like a crossbow strapped into a glove. The elastic band is still strong enough to propel a small pellet. Hard enough to leave a hell of a welt, though not much more than that. Compact mirrors. Good for checking your makeup. Or around corners. There's something else I wanted to look at. What was it? Oh yeah, the Transmorpher. This tiny robot seems to transform into a pickup truck. What kind of wizardry is this? What about the apron? This leather apron can protect your pants from caustic chemicals. They don't look like they protect your pants, they look like they are your pants. Given that they literally look the same as the pants. The, anyway. This thing is way too big to put on a finger. Uh, that's weird. Hey, Wormy. A nervous young man with slick black hair wears a dirty apron that appears to be drenched in sweat. Wait, 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 wait. hold on. What? Hold, hold the phone. A nervous young man. Young. Young. Does that look young to you? He looks fucking 40 years old. Anyway. If you're here to take care of these damn wreckers, then you're going to need some supplies. I just happen to have some supplies if you're willing to trade. You're going to charge me to defend you? Okay, that's fine. I'd give you a discount, but if the wreckers end up killing you, then I'd be losing out on scrap for nothing. Okay, thanks. Oh, I know. How about you kill all those wreckers, all these wreckers first, then I give you a discount. Seems pretty fair, don't it? Sure. I don't think there's anything I could really afford anyway. I've got... Well, I've actually got some money now. Sell all my junk. Now I've got even more. 310. Actually, wow. Wait, are you sure he's not supplying a... discount at the moment? Because that seems really cheap. Only 160 for that? Hold on. We'll see how it compares to her current rifle. Holy shit, that's way better. Look at that. Instead of 12 to 18 damage, it's 15 to 27. It's got a lower hit chance, but that's because of the, the mod. Higher critical hit chance. Way higher damage multiplier if it is a critical hit chance. Uh, it does have a significantly higher chance to jam, but it's still not that big of a deal. Shorter range, though. Hmm. Larger capacity. It also uses less AP per shot. Um, well, I'm doing fine so far. I'll, I'll hold on. He said he's going to give me a bigger discount if we defeat the Wreckers first, so let's see if we can do that and buy it on the cheap. See you next time. Unless the Wreckers kill you. Thanks. Ooh, dirt. I like dirt. Especially when I can dig it up. Oh, they're dirt claws that I've missed. Ooh, that looks like a very nice tactical position, and I would bet my left nut that there's enemies back here. I feel the need to see if there's anything inside of here, but I don't think you can even go in there. Alright, anyone there? Hello? Hello? Shit, never mind. Alright. Well, sorry. Go back down. Hmm. It's back here. 
Some fucking massive pepper plants, I think. Oh, those are tomatoes. Never mind. These tomatoes are ripe and juicy. Now, if only you had a sandwich. Those are literally as big... No, they're literally bigger than my character's heads. Holy shit. Bag of trash sits off to the side. One person's trash is another's treasure. Or possibly just trash. Alright, once again. Angela's my tester. Fuck. It's okay, she can take it. See, I'm pretty... Maybe I need to use the uh, perception scale more, but I thought it kind of triggers automatically. Like, when you right-click something that's trapped, doesn't it tell you that it's trapped? So maybe it's just because my... skill for Helen... for perception is just not high enough? It is level 2, though. I mean, that's fairly high at this low level. I don't know. What if I just tried to detrap everything even if I don't know if it's trapped? Like, would that work? in the wall, not shooting over it! Sorry, sorry! Got the range now, I think! Wait! What the fuck, dude? Did I save fire in the hole? Did I? I wasn't ready! Don't make me come down there, assholes! Well, thankfully, they seem to be very disorganized. Which is good for us. Can I shoot this thing and explode it? I wonder. The Wrecker left one of their makeshift mortars just sitting around. I don't know if I can explode it, but it looks like I can use it. It just seems so tempting, because look at all of them right around it. If I could blow that up... Hold on. I can't blow it up, can I? Sight blocked. Sight blocked. That implies I can blow it up. Let's see if I can shoot it from the very tip of up here. Oh yeah, this will actually allow me to get down here into this area. That'll be nice. Side blocked. Hmm. There's no hit chance. Why is there no hit chance? It shows up as green as if it's friendly. Uh. Right, well, I'm just gonna try to shoot it, I guess. <laughs> oh, it worked! <gasps> Beautiful! Oh wow, they don't even know where I am, do they? They're, we're not even in combat. I'm so far away, they don't even know what the hell to do. Awesome. Alright. Out of range, well if they come back... Uh, uh, uh... Uh! Boom! I think I hit him in the left arm. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're all packed up here, which is not so good. Yeah, they're way too far away. We gotta ambush. Let's get you here. Yeah, might as well grouch. And the view likes to wig out sometimes, look at this. Ugh, it's disorienting. Or disorientating, I think the word is. I don't really need to do anything with you, but I guess I'll just put you there, sure. <laughs> Poor guy. I almost feel bad for him. Almost. Hmm. There's probably more traps around here. Ooh. Tactical slide. 
So let's attempt to use this. Doesn't I don't see anything. <laughs> Hopefully no one will notice the crushed cabbage. Or at least blame it on the wreckers. Why is all the fucking food so big? Okay, 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 I see him. I see him. Uh, given that everybody follows me around, moving around as a group might be a kind of terrible idea. Can we, uh... Disable them? Can we gather them and place them down on our... our own? Oh yeah, you can! Be careful, Yulia! That blows up, everybody else is going with ya. Okay. So I guess it doesn't do much other than just giving me a bit of XP. And obviously, well, detrapping it. In other words, you can't take them. Yeah, let's move in tiny little... blips. I don't think I need to use... Like, I'm not actually sure what the point of doing this is. Like, doesn't, doesn't stuff automatically get discovered? Without you using your perception skill? I don't know. There's nothing actually really around here other than, I guess, this over here. This woman was sawed in half. Oh god, she was. I love that there's actually unique descriptions for every body. That's really cool. Alright, doesn't say anything about a trap. Nothing about a trap. What if I try to detrap it? Doesn't even show up. Okay. Have I do this? Nothing? Alright, should be good then, huh? Alright, cool. Trauma kit. Spiked helmet. Protects your noggin from a noggin. Suppose I could put it on. Ugh. That totally looks wrong. That does not look like Helen at all. Oh, wow. Hobo basher. Wait, does that mean, like, it's a basher for hobos? Like, for hobos to use, or it's meant to bash hobos? Well, I've got two people that use blunt. Two people that like blunts. Let's give it to the more effective one, and we'll compare and see if it's actually any good. Oh, yeah. Swap this. Oh, wow, yeah. Ace's wrench is way better. Yeah, it's, it's much, much better. Which, uh, it makes sense. I mean, it is Ace's wrench, after all. It's not some generic thing. It's a very sentimental weapon. And as such, it is quite good. So what about Yulia? Wow, this hobo basher really sucks. It's not even better than her starting weapon. Ooh. Found an alarm. Wait. I don't think I have anybody who can actually disable an alarm. Do I? No, that's the alarm disarming skill, which no one has. Well, fuck it. I killed everybody, so nobody can respond, right? Yeah, there's nobody to hear it. 
I blew them up. Ooh, go inside of here. Oh, it's actually an instance. Ah, a friendly. Red scorpions, thank God. Please help me. Uh, we ain't no red scorpions. A frightened young woman flinches and twitches with each bang and clank from the men in the next room trying to open a safe. As you appear, she looks at you with hope in her eyes. Wait, you're not red scorpions. Oh, rangers! Even better! My knight's in leather armor. <laughs> no problem, ma'am. We're here to save the day. Yeah, it's interesting that they were expecting the red scorpions, though. And they were talking about them on the radio, right? You were expecting the red scorpions? Yeah, they kind of help us... help us out sometimes. Well, not really. They're supposed to, but usually they just get drunk and complain a lot. But we have a contract for their protection. I thought they finally showed up. But you'll do a better job, I'm sure. What do you need help with? Three thugs came barging in here and ransacked the place, looking for valuables. They're still here, just around the corner. They're trying to break into my safe, where I keep my dowry. Please hurry and stop them. Wait, you're what? You have a dowry? Which, by the way, is a very unpleasant word to say. Dowry. Dowry. D just, eh. It's not as bad as rural, but it's pretty bad. Yeah, my father left it for me so I could find a good and honorable man. You need a dowry to get them. Otherwise, they sleep with whores and aren't honorable. <laughs> That's what my father says. I'm very, I'm very honorable and deserve a good husband. Well, I wish you the best, Jesse. I will save her dowry. <laughs> There's another toaster. Ooh, a box. Oh, right, we should be saving her. But ooh, a box. Teddy! Hmm. Looks like there's two or three of them. Three of them. Can I talk to them? Oh, whoa. They're actually very strong. They have about 50 hit points. See, this, this would be an absolutely perfect opportunity for a shotgun. Because I could hit all three of them at the same time. Alright. Um... I think we can have a chat first. Let's have a chat first. Okay, good. And my shotgunner, Yulia, is up front, which is good. A leather-bound thug with goggles carrying blood-stained construction tools. Ah, hell. Rangers. Look, we just want some loot. No reason to get nasty here. Just let us take what we came for, and we'll be on our way. Hard-ass level 4. I think Angela has some hard-ass, but I don't think... Yeah, she has a level 3 hard-ass. Damn it! Angela, why isn't your ass harder? Well, that's not gonna work. I guess we have to fight. Well, I could also say they can just take whatever they want, but... Nope! Fuck you! Thank God he missed. Ah, damn it. Yulia can't go first. I want her to go first. They're all grouped up. It's perfect. Oh, God, you know what would be even more perfect? Using one of her explosives. Throwing a piece of dynamite at their legs. Oh. Oh, beautiful. All right, well, same chance to hit all of them. Should I crouch? There's no point in taking cover, right? Well, one guy does have a gun. The others have melee weapons. Hmm. Let's move. What? Her sight isn't fucking blocked? What are you talking about? You're telling me she can't peek over this corner and shoot them? Like, I get, like, this... Why, this person would be blocked, but... 
Fuck. Alright, whatever. It's no big deal. We can still shoot twice. Let's get the shotgun. What? Jam? I can't even unjam my weapon. God fucking damn it. Just move. Go there. Lucky. Which is ironic because I actually. Or luck is at two, which is technically. poor. But, uh. I'll take it. Nice. They do have a lot of health, though. Let's move her as far away as possible. You've... What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. What are the jam chances on these weapons? 3% chance to jam. And 3% chance to jam. Two people independently with 3% chances to jam, jammed. Is it... it something's weird. Does luck affect your chance to jam? Hmm. I feel like it does or something, because that's fucked up. Alright, just go somewhere else so that if they hit us with a shotgun shot, we at least won't all get hit. Okay. We're gonna make shit happen. I could use my shotgun. It's gonna hit all of them, which is, well, has a chance to hit all of them, which is beautiful, but, 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 I think I'd rather use an explosive. Hmm. I think I need to put explosives into her secondary slot. I don't know if it takes AP to actually equip a weapon. Not sure. Anyway, that does 50 damage, which would be absolutely perfect. That does 25 damage, which is kind of shit. Do I want to use it, though? I mean... Are they that hard? I don't know. Maybe it's not worth it. Nah, it's totally worth it. Hey guys, how do you like this? Get him, Yulia! Boom! Oh, I exploded the safe. I didn't know you could do that. It's good to know. Hopefully I didn't ruin the dowry. Probably just means I can steal it. Let's make sure I didn't ruin the dowry. I, I guess that's the dowry? I'm curious what it's- I'm not gonna steal it, but I'm curious what it says. Oh no, wait! Did I take it? I, I just meant to read it. The note reads, J-Bell, I lost your dowry in a card game. My bad. I have a sure bet to get it back. Be back soon. Dad. I uh, think we need to go have a chat with Jesse. <laughs> oh my god. Hopefully she doesn't think we tried to steal it, because I wasn't trying to steal it, I just wanted to read it. Ooh, there's an alarm. Wait, this- oh, yeah, I mean... If I took that, I guess I'd be stealing from Jesse, right? I mean, this is, like, their shop or whatever. Probably shouldn't take it. Hey, Jesse! Oh, fair knights! Thank you so much! My life would have been ruined if I'd lost my dowry. My father, before he left, made sure I would have enough to get a good man to marry me. I haven't found a good man, a good enough man yet, but when I do, my dowry will convince him to love me and marry me and keep me safe. Thank you so very much for saving my dowry. Yeah, 
Yeah. About your dowry. We found this note in the safe. What? What note? That That's not possible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rangers. I can't live in this world without a proper husband. I can't survive. Oh my god, Rangers. I need you to find and return my dowry. Help me, Rangers. You're my only hope. Will you please help me? Sure. Thank you, Rangers. Bless you, my valiant knights. My father never let me see it, but he said he engraved it with my initials when I was born. He always said it was as beautiful as I was. That's all I know. Alright, we'll get your dowry back. What she doesn't know is I'm giving the job to Aberforth. Go, Aberforth. Go forth. I dismiss you. I guess I've just given them a... a, uh... A store goat. Aberforth can be their mascot. Enjoy him. Oh, look at that. There's a little fan and it actually spins. Cool details. If only I could zoom in more. Anyway. Um, right, I should probably save all the people that are currently dying and stuff. That'd be a good idea. Oh wait, we have a level up. Hold on. Copy, Echo One. Echo One, congratulations, Echo One. All right, saved up your skill points. I was gonna. I... Wait, actually, did I save up your skill points? Yeah, I must have. I believe I was gonna upgrade his assault rifles, but now I'm not so sure. It does vastly improve his chance to hit six more percent. That's big, that's big. But... He is kinda... My dude that does all these other important things. I don't know how much I want to focus on assault rifles. Well shit, I can do both. Yeah, I can upgrade that, and I'm just gonna leave it there for probably a while. And then... Let's upgrade something else. What does upgrading Surgeon actually do? More items to be used and improves the benefits received from using them. I haven't actually, like, found any place to really use Kizass. So far, and the only place that actually needed Hardass, you know, just a second ago, required a level 4, which, if that's any indication of the level of... of Assery you're going to need, then I am gonna have to focus only on Kizass if I want to do anything good with that. Go Surgeon, I feel better about that. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I will continue to explore Highpool and try to defend them.